Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at how General Grievous ate food. In 2005 we got the final of the Star Wars prequels and we were introduced to a very weird villain called General Grievous who could wield four lightsabers with his four arms. And while there are many YouTube videos which explore kind of who he was and his backstory, in today's video we're going to be taking things a little bit more lightheartedly and looking at something which isn't spoken about very much, which is actually how he ate, how he functioned, so to speak, uh, as a thing, as a creature. So in case you don't know, General Grievous was not always that kind of machine looking thing. He was actually a Kalish warlord. Kalish were actually uh, a group, a species, and he was a supreme commander of the armies of the Confederacy during the Clone Wars, and he insisted that nobody called him a droid. General Grievous was a reptilian Kalish from the planet of Kali, and his birth name was actually Kemian J. Shilal. And as the cyborg supreme commander, he was often seen as a droid and as a half Khalil uh, kind of mishmash cyborg, so to speak. So after consulting with his ally, Confederate head of state Count Dooku, the chairman arranged for a bomb to be placed on Grievous' shuttle. So this actually exploded Grievous, but it didn't kill him. And Grievous was reconstructed by Dooku before Dooku trained him in the Jedi arts, which is what he tells Obi-Wan in Revenge of the Sith. Uh, as to his body composition after he was reconstructed by Dooku, not too much is known, but we do get answers in the novelization, the book of Revenge of the Sith. Uh, and the book basically states that he does not eat at all and he doesn't require sleep either. However, this is a bit of a plot hole because Kalish's, which he once was, and kind of technically still is in terms of his organs, they did require food, just like every other living creature in Star Wars. So my thought is that perhaps he was injected with the nutrients he needed, perhaps Dooku had a filtering system put into the kind of cyborg side of uh, Grievous's new body, and that's how he got his nutrients, but all the book says is that he didn't actually require food. So that's the only answers we have, and that's some of my speculation. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I'll see you next time for another video. I'm Star Wars Meg. If you're new to my channel, may I please ask you to hit subscribe down below, to hit the notifications bell to be alerted every time I upload a new video, and I wish you a great rest of the day, no matter where you are in the galaxy.